when filing taxes, how do I report informal income for which I don't have any forms? This past summer, I worked a normal summer job and received a W-2 form. However, I have also been tutoring two fellow students at the university I attend. They have been paying me informally, e.g. they simply gave me dollar bills at the end of our tutoring sessions. I've made a total of $458 this way. My question is, how do I indicate this income when I'm filing my taxes? Form 1040 item 1 is wages, salaries, tips, etc. Attach forms W-2, which seems inappropriate because I don't have a W-2 for this income. The guidebook says, if you have additional income, such as business or farm income or loss, unemployment compensation, prize or award money, or gambling winnings, then use Schedule 1, Part 1. Schedule 1, Part 1 has a few items that, to my naive eye, look like they could fit the bill. Item 1. Taxable refunds, credits, or offsets of state and local income taxes. Item 3. Business income or loss. Attach Schedule C. Item 4. Other gains or losses. Attach Form 4797. Item 8. Other income. List type and amount. Item 8 seems the most promising to me, but for all I know none of these are correct. Where should I indicate the informal income from my tutoring sessions? Do I even need to report it? Let's start with your last question first. Do I even need to report it? Yes, you are supposed to report it, as this is considered income. It was not simply a gift, because you did do some work in exchange for the money. Having said that, I will point out that, because it was all in cash, it is unlikely that the IRS would ever find out about it if you did not report it. Where should I indicate the informal income from my tutoring sessions? You found both of the places where it could go. Schedule 1, line 3, business income. Schedule 1, line 8, other income. Let's look at the two options. As business income, you have to fill out a Schedule C or Schedule CEZ for your business. The advantage here is that you get to deduct business expenses. Did you drive to your tutoring sessions? If so, you can deduct an amount for mileage 58 cents per mile in 2019. Did you purchase any books or materials that you used while tutoring? If so, those are deductible. A disadvantage to a business is that you have to pay self-employment SE tax. However, there is no SE tax on income amounts below $400, so if you can deduct $58 worth of expenses, there will be no SE tax. The other option is to consider your efforts a hobby and not a business. This is the easy option, no Schedule C, no business expense deductions, no SE tax. You just put $458 on Schedule 1, Line 8, and call it good. You'll end up paying your regular tax rate on that amount. In some cases, the IRS will insist that you have a business and require a Schedule C. In other cases, the IRS will deem that you do not have a business and will disallow your business expense deductions. The IRS has listed nine criteria that they use to determine what is a business and what is not. At this level of income, it probably doesn't matter. But if you plan on continuing or expanding your tutoring, it should probably be considered a business.